Hi everyone, today we're back with a firewood business. It's a cold but beautiful morning here in Elm Creek. I'm trying to get an early start to the day because business is picking up. We are getting calls, emails every day asking for firewood deliveries and we have to uh, deliver all the firewood. Now today guys we have several uh, deliveries we have to make here. I actually loaded the OBS Ford late last night and we actually have to go uh, deliver this first thing in the morning. So let's get the OBS warmed up here. Now it is about 35 degrees. So a cold start here on the 7-3. The old diesel fires up no problem here. Just have to make sure the glow plugs are awesome there. But I'm going to let this idle here for a few minutes. Drink my cup of coffee and we'll get going. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. The first delivery this morning is to the local farmer. He bought two cords of firewood, and I did give him a little bit extra here. He's been a really good returning customer. He's helped us out getting the business running, so I always try to treat him well. But one thing, guys, I really need to like, buy the proper uh, hardware here so we could finally fix the tailgate here. I always am thinking that firewood is going to fall off the back here. But hey, this old farm truck, uh, this thing just keeps on running, especially my favorite 7.3 engine. We're just getting over to the farm here. Now, I wanted to load this last night. That way, we could get, uh, just get the ground roll in here today. So we have to uh, unload it right there off to the side. Uh, so let's get this thing unloaded and get back to the wood yard. Just getting the last of the pieces out of the dump bed there. Looks like they got stuck there at the tailgate in between the bed and that here, but no problem. And guys, I actually just got a text from one of our customers here. He actually likes to come over to Woodyard, pick up the wood himself, and he does save about $75 on the delivery fee. So let's go meet him back there. And uh, we do have a few things I want to get done. I actually want to install some concrete. Uh, block so we can have a nice bin for the firewood here. We do have to load some baskets, drop them off at the convenience store. So we are just super busy. I mean, uh, the calls just keep on coming in uh, for more firewood, like I mentioned earlier. Oh, look at that. He is here, and that looks to be a brand new Toyota Tundra. Looks like he got a new truck uh, since the last time I saw him. Wow, that is pretty uh, awesome here. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I was just making a firewood delivery, but uh, if you want to pull around uh, to where that conveyor belt is, uh, I'll help you get loaded up. All right, awesome. It looks like you got a full load of firewood. Yeah, that's going to be right around $150. Well, I appreciate the business. Uh, anytime, give me a call and you could come back get some more firewood. We just made the second sale of the day. And guess what? It's only about 8 a.m., which is a really good start today. But now, we actually have to get going on some firewood bundles because we need to make a delivery to a local gas station. They've been selling a lot of bundles. They're selling them for about $10 a bundle here. We're a little bit of a premium price, but we are selling really good wood here. They are all uh, 18 inches in length here, and uh, they're all split to just about the same size, which is what people really do like here. So I want to fill up this basket, but the concrete uh, blocks are going to be arriving soon. And I actually want to rearrange the wood yard here. That way we could be more efficient, more productive, and we can make more money uh, with uh, uh, not having to kind of keep walking around and uh, just getting a lot more done.
Let's get the old deer fired on up here. Now this gets here, guys. Just keeps on running for us. But I think... Uh, since we are doing quite well with the business, I'm going to be looking into getting us a new skid seer soon. I think that that's probably the next upgrade because here in a bit, I actually have a meeting at 1 p.m. Uh, to meet about a new purchase here to help out the business. But we have to put the tailgate down and actually look at that. I got this pallet mover so I can move those baskets around and that's going to help us out here. Just putting the tailgate down here. Let's see if we could uh, lift this out. Oh boy, guys, this is super heavy. Uh, but uh, you guys can see this is sweet. It's so cool we could have little tiny mods like this. And this thing is going to be perfect. It's definitely going to save us uh, moving those heavy uh, baskets around. But let's put this up in the truck here. And hopefully uh, it does end up fitting. Sometimes it is uh, tricky with the wheel wells. But we should be able to do it. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for the business, please let me know here. I've been really enjoying the firewood business. I try to do uh, sometimes seasonal videos, and this one is, sure is seasonal with it being the winter months here. And I will say I'm just super excited for it. So many cool things to happen with this here. But let's get those concrete barriers, and then let's get the yard rearranged. I'm picking up the camera a few hours later and look at that guys, a lot has changed in the wood yard. I was able to get all the concrete blocks in place here so now we have a really nice size bin. This is going to be perfect for all the firewood here and I'm just starting to bring all the uh, wood that we have all the supply over here but you guys can see we got the concrete bin we got the uh, uh, log uh, firewood processor here with the conveyor belt going right into the bin and then we have the logs over here so the process will be to pick one of these up with a skin loader put it here and then it will go here ready to go so that is awesome you guys I'm running a little late let's get this uh, basket dropped off at uh, the gas station and then we have to run over to the trailer dealership now guys, I just said the trailer dealership and that is because we are going to be buying a trailer here. We need uh, to do a lot more deliveries here. I actually hired one of my buddies to help me out uh, delivering firewood here and uh, so we're going to be using the OBS for that and now we need something else and I really don't want to buy another truck. This truck here works. I just need something uh, and I think the uh, solution is going to be a dump trailer. It is a lot cheaper, a lot less maintenance than buying a new truck here. So let's get this basket dropped off here, uh, up here at the gas station. That way, they have some more firewood bundles and then we'll get over there. Alright, we're on the way to the trailer dealership here. I actually just got a check from the gas station for that bundle. And that is awesome that they pay me right when I drop it off, not after. They make all the sales there, but I sell to them at wholesale. And then they uh, sell it at retail, make a few dollars here uh, on each bundle. But we're just getting over here. And oh look, wow, they have several trailers out front here. We'll have to do a quick walk around. One thing is we definitely don't want a utility trailer, so let's uh, probably focus here on this side. Oh, look at that, guys. They have a low trail trailer. This looks to be a 16-foot uh, tandem axle gooseneck. That is actually one of my uh, favorite uh, configurations here. The gooseneck is a little bit more maneuverable, uh, especially backing into driveways and things like that. He looks like we have a lizard. This looks to be a 10-foot dump trailer. And this is a bumper pole here. Then this one is a 20 foot dump trailer with a gooseneck here let me look at the price yeah it's, it's a little bit cheaper than the low trail trailer but guys this is what we're gonna be going here with a, i have my eye on it and i don't think uh, i'm gonna uh, change my mind here so i'm gonna go pay for it let's go bring it back to the wood yard and uh, let's fill it up with firewood 
Now a trailer like this guys is a uh, super expensive here but it's gonna be well worth it here. It's definitely an investment into the business and uh, one thing we really need to help us out here is to do more deliveries. We have the machine to make the firewood here. Just that one older farm truck, uh, the dump truck driving around town isn't really gonna be as profitable as we can here. So this is gonna be awesome, super exciting. Uh, let's get on back here and get to work. It's been one busy day here with a firewood business, but I'm running low on camera battery, so I think we're gonna call it here. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.